Hi, this is Stacey Higginbotham with GigaOM, and I'm here with Brian Burke at NVIDIA, and we're going to talk about the ION platform. Hi, Brian. Hi, how are you? Great. Well, why don't we get started, and why don't you tell me kind of high level what ION's about? ION is a combination of the Intel Atom CPU and the NVIDIA 9400M GPU. It is our latest example of an optimized PC, whereas you have a good balance between the CPU as well as the GPU. Um, typically, when you think of a netbook, which is the application for a platform like this, you think about compromises and things that you can't do, that you have to, you have to make trade-offs for power, for size. We don't think that you have to do that with ION. With ION, you can do everything that you do in a premium PC um, on a smaller form factor. It runs Windows 7. It runs Windows 7 or Vista. You can play games on it high definition content, anything that you would want to do on your premium PC, you can do on a very small form factor such as this. Okay, and how much cost would this, I mean, how much does this price would this add to the cost of a netbook? Uh, you'll see the a netbook with the ION platform fall in the same kind of range where you, where you see them at now. They're going to be in the 299 399 range. Really, that's going to be up to the OEM, whoever takes, whoever takes the ION platform and puts it in whatever whatever configuration they want to put it in. Typically the cost is $20, $40. Okay, like great. That. And what about battery life? I mean, when I think of a GPU, I think giant power sucking awesome chips. Uh, well, we don't like to think of this as giant power sucking awesome. Uh, if we think of it just as awesome. But um, it's, it's going to give you comparable battery life as you would as you would in a netbook. Um, the the Atom chip is, gonna, is going to be, what I, I think, about two, two watts. Um, our chip, if you're running at max, running something like this, a high-definition video, will run at right around 14, so you're running about 16. Um, at idle, though, you're looking at about four, four and a half. Okay. That's what it would pull. Awesome. And so, kind of run down for me exactly what this means. This means my MacBook Pro could now be running on ION, and I wouldn't be able to tell the difference? What this means is that you are going to see a lot of very small PCs that can do everything that you can do now. You, you'll see an ION platform. But this is the motherboard for an ION platform. Um, what you need for this to be a complete system would be the memory that would go here and a very small notebook hard drive. So you can see it in very, very small netbooks. You'll see it in very, very small desktop. This, this actually is an example of a desktop that you might see. This is good for size reference. But this is a full PC. This PC is running this high definition content. It's running on Windows 7. Um, the motherboard, as you can see, is very, very tiny. Um, every, all the other components that you wrap around it really is going to dictate how, 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 how large it will go. You can do it in a small desktop. This would be perfect for running like a home theater. You can do it in a netbook like, you, like you'd see over here in one, in one of the uh, little, small netbooks. Okay, and then when can we see ION or netbooks or PCs running the ION platform? Uh, this summer. Um, we've already started talking to OEMs. Given them our reference platforms, they uh, they're looking at validation and uh, figuring out different different ways that they want to configure it and put it on the market. All right, so I should look for a really powerful, gra able to do fast graphics kind of netbook sometime this summer. This summer. Awesome. Thank you, Brian. Thanks.